If you're not in this, if you're not in this to make a shitload of money, then you're here for the wrong reasons. That's it. That should be the motivating factor. Lots of fucking money. Because that's what's available. It's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of real effort. Not just watching my fucking videos. It's, I, I say it all the time. Watching them is not learning. It might inspire you. It may give you reasons to stay at it. But that is not to replace you going into your own charts. Studying them. Going to old moves. At the times I tell you when these specific models present themselves. Go back in old moves. Forex, futures, commodities. I don't give a fuck what it is. You go out there and you prove to yourself it's always there. Accept the facts that sometimes you're going to do it wrong. Accept the facts that it might not deliver on the day that you try to trust it. It doesn't mean it's broken. It doesn't mean that you can't be profitable. It doesn't mean you're a terrible trader. It just means that you messed it up. You did. Own it. Come back the next day. The next opportunity. If you do that, you will be light years ahead of everyone else because everybody else will want to change. Oh, I tried this PD array. I tried this for pair value gap and it didn't work. Let me try this breaker now. Oh, I tried the breaker. It didn't work. I'm going to go ahead and do institutional order flow entry. Oh, oh, it didn't work. Let me go back to the OTE. It didn't work for me when I, when I tried it the three times. I tried to call it experience and back testing. Uh, no, on the fourth time I failed to. Let me, let me see. Oh, he's got, he's got something I was going to teach. Let me, let me look at that one too. That's not somebody that's really making a conscious effort. You need to be very diligent about doing these things and be very passionate about why you're doing it. If you're not in this, if you're not in this to make a shitload of fucking money, then you're here for the wrong reasons. That's it. That should be the motivating factor. Lots of fucking money because that's what's available if you can control yourself and you know what you're doing. If you can't do those things, manage yourself, your emotions, start with a low hanging fruit approach and build up slowly, blocking out all the bullshit. And that means people that want to suck your own ass off. Like you get on social media and people like, oh, they love you. They pander to you. Oh, you know, you're this and you're that. You don't realize how much of a impediment that is. Because once you start listening to that, and this is exactly what happened to me on America Online. That's why I don't like it. And I can't fucking stand you. When you say I'm the goat, the greatest of all time, I see that as you're a piece of shit, ICT. Because I think everybody that calls themselves a goat is a fucking piece of shit poser motherfucker that ain't can't do shit. There is no goats, okay? There's no goats. There's no greatest of all time in trading. I'm not a fucking king and ain't no fucking other king out there. Stop pandering to people like that. Stop worshiping them. Don't worship me. I don't need any kind of fucking attention. Just say thanks. That's enough. That's all it is. But when you when you allow that stuff in or you start being a part of it and you're and you're glad handing with other people online, whether it be me or anyone else, you're literally doing all the wrong things. You're making it emotional. There's no reason for that stuff. I'm here. I'm a conduit. I'm, I, whether you tell me you love me or you don't love me, I'm still going to be doing that shit. So it's not required. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be doing it. I'm still going to post videos. I'm still going to post the shit we got until November. None of this is going to slow down because I don't have enough people calling me the good. I don't want to be called the good. It, it's, it's, it's important that none of you fall into that trap, whether you're doing it with me or someone else or that you seek it yourself. Because as soon as you do that, you have now invited emotion, dopamine hits. It's not about that. All of that's going to be impactful to your decision making in your trading. Because whatever you did, and I'll, I'll paint this picture for you and I'm going to close this. Whatever you did that causes that social media response, you know, oh, you're the goat, or that was amazing, or you're beast mode, or whatever. You're going to want to do something again when something creeps into your life, something bad, something uncomfortable. You don't feel good. You woke up with a bad, stiff neck, and you're just miserable because you can't get comfortable. Uh, I just need to, I need to feel good about something. Uh, let me get somebody to call me the goat online. Give me, give me some reason to say I'm, a, um, I'm an awesome fucking trader. So you're going to go out there, and you're going to try to create something in your account. Why? Because the trade's there? No, because you want to do something out 
outside and external to why your model would be telling you to take a trade. It sounds simplistic. It sounds like, well, this, this is nonsense. No, this is exactly what people do, and they blow their fucking asses out. Their accounts are gone, they're wrecked, and they've ruined themselves. It all stems from something simple like this because you've invited emotion into it. And that's exactly what my son did. He wanted to come out and prove to the world that ICT Jr. is now born, and here it is. He wants to go out and run around on social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and be a menace. He still might be, but he's got to learn how to be a menace in the charts first. He's got to be formidable in the charts. You can have all the, you know, the, to want to do it right now, but without the skill set that can be acquired with time and effort and a whole lot more effort now. It won't happen otherwise. Just because I'm daddy, ICT, just because he's my son, does not give him that built-in advantage. There's no built-in advantage. There's no advantage at all. And with me sitting him next to me, with all the things that's going on in his mind, I have to now arm wrestle him and make him conform into things that he doesn't see as the right way now. Just like some of you probably already turned this Twitter space off because doesn't you think it doesn't apply to you. I guarantee you, you haven't made money if you did. The folks that turn this off are the ones that think that they can go out there and watch a five-minute trainer video, watch some kind of horse shit, go in and watch my video, and they should be able to walk out and be profitable and pass a funded account challenge the first time and start making $20,000 a month in payouts. That's the people that turn off these parts of the video or these don't they don't listen to these discussions because they're they have their they have their own head up their own ass. They they can't see where they're at. They don't know the lay of the land. They've never been there before. And they believe the bullshit that's online. So, yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's intimidating in the beginning. But you have to have this approach that you're not going to stop. Nothing is going to deter you. Nothing's going to talk you out of it. You or someone else. And you have to guard your mind. Every single one of my profitable students will tell you the same thing. They have to at least cancel the influence of other people that says they can't do it, whether it's their friends or family, the coworkers or people online that know them. Or they completely cut it all off. That's not a cult. That's someone that's secluding themselves for intimate study. If you ever went to college and you were studying for your final exams, did you go and just study in a public space where there's a lot of noise and people can talk to you and, and do that at work? No. It, it would be unprofitable. It meant something to you. You had to put a lot of effort into that. Well, this is much worse than that because it's you. You are in the way. What you think you should be able to do, what you're afraid of, what's going to happen to you, what happens if this happens, what happens. You're worried about things that aren't there yet. And if you do the things I'm telling you to do and you develop a good work ethic and journaling, when you encounter the things that you're afraid of and by hearing what I'm telling you to do and how to cope with all those things, they won't be so terrifying and scary. And the first thing you'll do is stop. It's not an invitation to go press a button. If you're uncertain, if you're scared, there's no, there's no shame in that. Stop. Now, there's going to be people out there on Twitter that'll say partials are fucking stupid and you trade like a pussy and they don't ever show you them executing and they're going to give you every reason why everything I just said in this lecture tonight is counterproductive and counterintuitive. But I'm going to tell you that you have to reward yourself. Along the way, you have to do it. That means when you feel staying in a mood and you're brand new, get out. It's so much better to do that and then see if it panned out in your favor and say, okay, I wasn't comfortable there. I got out and it allowed me to have a clear perspective of what the market was doing because now I'm not influenced by the profit and loss of it. And then I'm now encouraged because if I just want to stay with it, it, I'll remember this trade the next time and then I'll try to stay with it a little bit longer. And you gradually grow into that. 
Nobody walks out there and does a full pull from entry, stop loss, and full target, no partials, and it just goes right to the thing, and they just did it the first time, and that's how their trades are the rest of their career. It, it doesn't work like that, folks. It does not work like that. And if it did, they'd be on there showing you executions and showing that you can do it, and they're not doing it. So we're on the right path. And you are too. You just got to stay with it.